LEED certification is a ranking system for green buildings. Basically, it's a series of benchmarks that's been established by a group called the U.S. Green Building Council. It evolved as a, a marketplace response to a lot of green claims in the construction industry to begin to make that a more standardized and clear set of guidelines that, uh, that building projects can adhere to. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and it, it really represents a fundamental shift in the building and construction industry, but it's getting people involved in the construction industry to take notice of the impact that the buildings have on the environment. The LEED as a program looks at not only how a building is built, but how it's going to be set up to be operated, so that there's a smooth transition from the way that the building systems are designed to how they're operated, so that there is a uh, designated location for uh, recyclables uh, kind of built into the way that the building functions, that type of thing. There are quite a few points for uh, saving things like energy and water, which are critical goals. There are also points that uh, respond to site considerations, saving open space, storing habitat, making good healthy interiors for people, and, and recycling materials uh, and, you know, building with materials that contain recycled and, and locally sourced content. The LEED rating system rewards buildings based on their level of achievement within those several categories, uh, you know, the, uh, the baseline certification level, and then there are three levels above that, silver, gold, and platinum. This is the Court of Sciences Student Center, and it is really one of the very visible green buildings on campus because, as you can see, it's made up of many green spaces, and these are spaces that are for students. We're standing in front of uh, Hershey Hall, and we just completed a renovation of that to support administrative uses for the Department of Life Sciences. We've just received the highest lead rating available, a pl platinum rating. UC is definitely at the forefront. We do have a standard. We're requiring uh, lead silver, striving for gold on all our buildings, and that's UC wide. Um, the Terasaki building beyond is the 14th lead certified building that we've had on campus, um, and we have another 20 in the works. Uh, I, I think there is an urgency to mend environmental and pollute, you know, pollution damage that has been caused by uh, you know, past construction and sort of change the paradigm for, for new construction. I think that's uh, very important. I think LEED's been a really great catalyst for making that happen in the marketplace and for encouraging people to kind of basically do the right thing. It's continuing to evolve. By its very nature, it's a moving target. It's going to continue to encourage people to strive to better performance in their buildings. But overall, energy buildings use, I think it's 40% of the energy that's used by man. And so it's a big chunk of what we do. There's always an ability to kind of uh, imagine, imagine more that could be done, but uh, we are trying to do just as much as we can and get as many uh, you know, energy-saving, water-saving features uh, into the projects as we possibly can.